This video is intentionally cringy, so don't tell me it's cringy, I already know. Also, don't ask me why I'm whispering. I have no idea. Quarantine, 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 quarantine. Everyone's been freaking out over the past few weeks about, you know, this quarantine life. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I think since 2018, I could legitimately count the amount of times I've left my damn house on my two hands. Like, honestly, I'm not, I'm not even joking. I'm not even exaggerating or anything. I have not left my house in almost, I wanna say six months outside of walking my dog and helping my mother with grocery shopping. That's it. <laughs> so when I tell you that this quarantine life has not affected me in the slightest, yeah, no, no, it, it really hasn't. But, Dimitri, I hear you yell. How do you keep yourself occupied for two whole years without going outside? I'll tell you how. This video is going to have a lot of cringe, by the way. Just letting you know that. Um, yeah. The first way is with this. My seven-string electric guitar that only has six strings because I'm an idiot. My acoustic guitar. Pretty sure that's out of tune. <laughs> I have not tuned it in quite some time. There's also YouTube, something that I've been taking very seriously lately, and we're scary close to a thousand subs and really close to the 4,000 watch time hours we would need for monetization, which I do really wanna thank you guys for. All joking aside for a minute, we are so close and it's almost a guarantee that we'll be eligible for monetization uh, before the end of the year. So yeah, that's awesome, but continuing on, actually making my hair healthy for the first time in almost 10 years. I also have a PlayStation, so that helps me as well. Now, since we're just talking about random items, let's show you some random items around my room. A lot of people know that I'm a WWE fan, so here's my WWE Championship. It actually has my name on it, see? This thing is seven years old and it's still in pretty good condition. Here's my Goku Pop figure. It was a gift and the box was up. That's why it's not in the box. Here's my Ruby Rose figure, something that I bought back when Ruby was actually good. This is a baby mask that I use to scare children every year on Halloween. You want <laughs> You want to know a weird aspiration of mine? I want to move and live in Japan, preferably Osaka, Japan. Here's a random fact for you. I'm not wearing any pants. This Superman shirt that I'm wearing, I've actually had since middle school. And in fact, I've been the same height of five foot five since eighth grade. I also just now realized how much of the wall is still visible. <laughs> More random facts. My favorite movie of all time is the original Spy Kids, even though I can admit that the second one is better. I'm actually a pretty big fan of ASMR, and my favorite ASMR channel is GB ASMR. I have a deathly fear of heights. I have glasses. Bet you didn't expect that one. My favorite video game of all time is The Last of Us. However, my favorite video game soundtrack of all time is a tie between Mario Galaxy for the Wii and Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. My first ever Pokemon game was Pokemon Leaf Green, but my favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Platinum. My favorite Pokemon type is the Psychic type. My favorite Psychic type Pokemon is Gardevoir. No, it's not because of Gardevoir memes, but my favorite Pokemon is Machamp, and my favorite legendary is Suicune. Superman Returns was the first superhero movie I had ever seen. I'm literally spewing out random facts at this point because I desperately want this video to be at least five minutes. This is my favorite anime of all time. This was the first anime I ever watched. Now that I think about it, not very different, are they? Why did I make this video? Because I wanted to do something different. I do nothing but Dragon Ball Legends and I just, there's not enough for me to talk about these days that isn't Dragon Ball Legends related or I'm just too late to the bandwagon like Ed and the whole 90 Day Fiance thing. I actually wanted to make a video about that, but I feel like I'm a bit late to it at this point. Let me know if you still want me to make a video on that, but yeah. 
That's why this video was made. I wanted to do something different. Don't worry. Tomorrow we'll most likely be back to our regularly scheduled Dragon Ball Legends programming. It'll most likely be a uh, PvP video with the Goku team again. I do have footage for that recorded and I actually have, I'm still having a lot of fun with that team. So yeah, that's why this video was made. That's why I have pierced your ears with my cringe. Um, the reason why it was done in this format was because it's kind of me making fun of some YouTubers who do this over-the-top BS. They could just sit down and talk about this kind of stuff. But it's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of fun to do. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. So close to a thousand. Let's get there. Uh, let's, let's try and get to a thousand subs before the two-year anniversary. Probably not gonna happen. But... I'm gonna set that goal out for you. At least by the two year anniversary. By the time the two year anniversary ends, I want us to be at a thousand subs. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Peace.